The U.S. Postal Service is investigating some charred mail found inside of a Copley Square drop box. Tonight, crews removed it. Now, postal inspectors are leading the investigation into what happened there. Now, that box is near a City of Boston ballot drop box, which was also set on fire. Today, Boston police arrested a man in that crime that they say destroyed some of the ballots inside. Investigators do not believe that his motive was political, but as WBZ's Christina Rex reports, with with more people mailing or dropping off ballots, local officials are now stepping up security. In response to a fire that police say was intentionally set inside this ballot box, the Secretary of State is now asking cities and towns to collect the ballots out of the boxes as often as possible. The latest development after a ballot box was burned over the weekend outside the Boston Public Library. Monday night, a postal worker discovered more burned mail inside this mailbox just a block away. This morning, this woman had recently put mail inside. The mail hadn't been collected since Saturday afternoon. Police say the ballot box fire happened Sunday morning, and they're investigating if these acts are connected. I think it's horrible. 39 year old Worldly Armand was charged with setting the ballot collection box on fire. Initially, investigators called it a deliberate attack, but now say he struggles with mental health issues. My little ballot that could. 30 ballots inside that box were damaged for good, but not Kristen Wallace's. Hers was counted despite being burned and wet. I feel like this is like a completely 2020 thing to have your ballot get burned in the ballot box. Um, I don't think I would ever have thought, like, I had to call a number to find out if my ballot made it because it was lit on fire. So. Now around the state, cities are stepping up security. In Framingham, police officers guard the drop off boxes. We just want to make sure that everybody's right to vote is not interfered with and making sure that everyone gets a chance to vote. And the Secretary of State is worried about Halloween weekend, telling cities and towns if you can't have personal security at the ballot boxes, to lock them up. In Boston, Christina Rex, WBZ News.